Hello viewers of The Pioneer, how are you doing? I hope you are healthy and well. As The Pioneer team, we are here with our new report on the Russia-Ukraine war. Recently, an incredible event took place on the Donetsk, which is under the Russian occupation. The drones of the Ukrainian armed forces once again dealt a heavy blow to the occupying Russian forces. This blow does not only affect the Russian army, the anger of the Russian people is also directed towards both the Russian army and the Russian administration due to the similar attacks. So what are the details of the latest attacks of the Ukrainian army? Let's take a look at developments together. As the Pioneer team, we continue to bring you our reports on Russia-Ukraine war. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so as not to miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. I also read all your comments on our videos. Please continue to express your opinions about our content in the comments. Let's start, if you are ready, the Pioneer Report. As we reported, drones of the Ukrainian armed forces once again dealt a heavy blow to the Russian Federation. According to reports, drones of the Ukrainian army took off late at night. Their target was the Makivka region in the Donetsk Oblast. As you know, the Russian army has been conducting offensive activities here for a long time. In order to stop the Ukrainian aggression here, every attack on the front line is of great importance. Already, the Ukrainian army has been carrying out attacks against these areas for a long time. However, the timing of the attack we will analyze this time is quite remarkable. As we have reported before, the weather conditions on the front line has become quite severe. However, these severe conditions are not only valid for the front line. Just like the front line, there are big problems in settlements due to the cold. In fact, there were developments related to this issue in the past days. Extraordinary cold weather has put a great burden on the weak infrastructure. Therefore, water pipes burst in many parts of the country and electricity facilities were out of use. This, of course, greatly affected the situation in the region. The local population had this struggle for days with the freezing effect of the cold weather. However, this situation revealed something else, that the government of the Russian Federation has not invested in infrastructure with the taxes of the Russian people for years. Therefore, in the winter conditions, many Russians were left without water, heating, and electricity. Therefore, in winter conditions, many Russians were left without water, heating, and electricity. Of course, this is a great advantage for the Ukrainian army because, as it can be understood, one of the Russia's biggest problems at the moment is energy transformations and supplies. Therefore, the Ukrainian army's pressure on these weaknesses will put Russia in an even more difficult situation. Likewise, the attacks we have just mentioned was carried out on one of these points. According to reports, a power station in Makiivka was blown up by the Ukrainian drones. Moreover, this power station supplied electricity to almost half of the Donetsk Oblast. Cold weather conditions prevails in the region. At many points, land settlements cannot be reached. In this situation, the situation of the Russian citizens has become very more dire with this blow taken by Russia. According to many reports, after the recent drone attack by the Ukrainian army, many people have started to react intensively against the Russian occupation. Let me emphasize one thing. The attacks took place on occupied Ukrainian territory. Therefore, the impact of the developments here will be seen more quickly. Another noteworthy issue that the repeated failure of the Russian air defense systems. According to the reports, Russian air defense systems are specially designed to be used in such attacks. However, despite this, the Ukrainian army still manages to overcome these systems with unmanned aerial vehicles. It is also understood that the Russian administration, which claims that the systems will be improved every time, is lying. We have once again seen with this incident that the Russian air defense systems are not as good as claimed. We also see how indifferent the Russian administration's attitude towards the local rights living in the occupied Ukrainian territories is. According to reports, the power cuts in question have still not been eliminated. Moreover, local sources claim that no work has been carried out on this issue. Another issue is related to the occupied Crimean Peninsula. As you may know, the hearts of the almost all Ukrainian people bit together with the Crimean territory. Since the beginning of the occupation by the Russian Federation in 2014, many Crimeans were forced to leave their homes. Now Crimeans want to return to their homes. And there is only one solution, a major defeat of the Russian army in all occupied Ukrainian territories, especially in the Crimean Peninsula. Recently, an incredible event took place in the Crimean Peninsula. As you know, Ukrainian partisan groups have carried out many successful operations in this region since the beginning of the occupation. 
During these operations, many Russian commanders were liquidated, many Russian ammunition depots were destroyed, and many Russian soldiers were eliminated. However, in our opinion, the attacks carried out by the Ukrainian partisan groups may be one of that has affected the Russians the most. As you know, the flag is a symbol of the independence of a nation. Every nation values and respects its flags. Also, it wants its flag to fly on its territory. When the Russian Federation occupied the Crimean Peninsula, it claimed that the region belonged to it and decorated every point of the peninsula with the Russian flags. Obviously, this was a great trauma for Ukrainians. For the Russians, it was a source of great pride. Of course, the presence of the Ukrainian partisan groups in this region posed a great threat to the Russian pride. Therefore, almost every Russian flag was surrendered by the Russian military unit charged with the protecting the flag. Recently, Ukrainian partisan groups took a big decision and took action to carry out a very risky operation. The operation was called the Supreme Flag Operation. According to reports, the Ukrainian partisan group had no difficulty in choosing the most suitable operation area for them, because the area where the operation took place was relatively elevated. Therefore, the Russian army did not take enough precaution here, because according to them, it was not a very wise thing to enter this area. However, Ukrainian partisans decided to do this crazy job. The partisan groups, which mobilized at night, managed to overcome the Russian troops. After reaching the Russian flag on the hilltop, the partisans left the area early in the morning, saluting the Ukrainian flag flying over Crimea. In the morning, the Russians were shocked. The Ukrainian flag was flying on the hill, which could be seen from many points. The pride of the local population still living under Russian occupation on the Crimean Peninsula was evident. But they were hiding it. According to reports, a large-scale investigation has been launched to find the Ukrainian partisans, but the partisans had probably already found a way to cover their attacks. Now tell me, what do you think? Do you think the attacks by the Ukrainian drones are effective? How do attacks on the Russian strategic facilities affect the front line? How do you think the Ukrainian partisans outflanked the Russian troops? Do you think the partisans will be captured? Let me know in the comments. You know that I read and I care about all your comments.